photo time. Hey everyone, it's Lauren from Hot For Food and the countdown to the holidays is already on. We're kicking off the month of December with our first holiday themed recipe and I'm gonna help you feel a little more festive because we're baking Christmas cookies. I'm gonna show you how to make these gingerbread sandwich cookies with a luscious vanilla buttercream in the center. So tasty, perfect for all your cookie swaps, holiday parties and thanks so much to Silk for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. We've worked with them a number of times because I always use Silk Unsweetened Almond for pretty much everything I make, sweet or savory, and it's gonna work for you really well this holiday season because you can throw it into sauces, gravies, and of course use it for all your baking needs. So, let's get this party started. I'm gonna give you some baking tips along the way here because baking can be difficult or intimidating for people, and you're gonna be baking a lot now that it's the holidays. So when you're measuring flour, what we always do is we scoop from a spoon into the measuring cup, and then you level it off flat with the back of the spoon or a knife. This ensures you're not getting more flour than the recipe calls for. So you do this rather than dunking the whole cup into the bin of flour, because that would actually give you more flour. So we're adding baking soda to this cookie recipe, and baking soda is gonna react with the acidity of brown sugar and molasses that's in these ginger cookies. Okay, we're using dried spices, so we're gonna do ginger, cinnamon and a little bit of cloves. We're also gonna add a little bit of sea salt and then combine this together. So just set aside the dry ingredients and now we'll mix the wet ingredients. So for the wet ingredients, we're gonna use coconut oil as well as silk unsweetened almond and molasses and brown sugar. Um, you could use vegetable oil, in which case you don't need to melt it. You can just measure it out and pour it in. But I've melted the coconut oil, but just ensure that it's not hot. It should come back down to like a room temperature. And then you wanna make sure your silk unsweetened almond isn't cold, it should also be room temperature. So we're gonna use more silk unsweetened almond than oil. And that's an important uh, variation for this particular texture of ginger cookie. Uh, if you did the opposite, you'd get a different type of cookie. So just, just do what I tell you. <laughs> you can get away with measuring liquids in dry measuring cups, but you can't really measure dry ingredients in liquid measuring cups. This is a liquid measuring cup, so you can use this for liquids, but not for dry ingredients. Okay, the oil's basically the same solid and melted, but just make sure you're measuring out the exact amount once it's melted. Probably shouldn't measure over the bowl in case you get extra, but I know what I'm doing. Ooh, science. Okay, we're gonna add a bit of vanilla extract. Okay, so brown sugar is packed brown sugar. You'll see that listed in recipes. That means you press the brown sugar into the cup until it's level to the top. You don't just loosely scoop it and throw it in because that changes the amount of brown sugar. So this is packed brown sugar. It's light brown sugar. You could use dark in this case. It's just gonna turn your cookies a darker color. Now whisk this together until it's really smooth and you don't see any of the oil settling on the top. Okay, now add the wet to the dry and then you're gonna fold it together. A spatula works the best for folding these two things together. So you're just gonna keep folding it until it looks like this and it forms a ball. So we're gonna roll little balls for the cookies and we're gonna roll them into granulated sugar. And that's gonna give it like a nice crust and sort of like a sparkly look to the cookies. So you can use regular granulated sugar or you can use organic cane sugar that has like slightly larger sugar crystals. Either is gonna work fine. Okay, you don't wanna make these too big because they are sandwich cookies and you don't want them to be monstrous. So a nice little small, like one inch ball like that is great. Roll it in the sugar. Add it to a parchment lined baking sheet and gently press it sort of flat like that. And you're gonna keep doing this until they're all done. You're gonna need multiple baking sheets or use the same one and keep doing in batches. You can put the dough in the fridge while the first batch bakes. I would really suggest not doing multiple baking trays in the same oven, cause one's gonna get overcooked, one might get undercooked, and these need to be the perfect consistency because otherwise they'll be too hard and not soft 
what you need for the sandwich cookie so you can easily bite into it. So we're gonna bake these right now for 12 minutes at 350. So because silk products don't contain any artificial colors or flavors or any funny business, they're perfect straight up, which means you can drink a glass of silk with these cookies, but you can also incorporate them into all your recipes like this one, and we're gonna use it for the frosting as well because it's gonna create a really creamy texture. The vanilla cream frosting we're gonna make for the sandwiches is just a few ingredients. We're gonna use solid coconut oil at room temperature. So it's soft, but it's solid. We're gonna use silk unsweetened almond, we're gonna use powdered sugar, and we're gonna add the inside of a vanilla bean to give it that real vanilla flavor. Now it's easiest to mix it with a hand mixer just cause it's gonna get a little stiff and this will get it nice and creamy. If you're really tough, use a whisk, use your hand, manpower and whip it up that way. So you're gonna use three tablespoons of coconut oil. It's two tablespoons of silk unsweetened almond and three cups approximately of powdered sugar. You can add one cup at a time as well. So adding one cup of sugar at a time will prevent it from sort of blowing up everywhere in your face because the powder will fly everywhere. So same filling technique for the powdered sugar. And before we add our third cup, we're gonna throw in the inside of the vanilla bean. So if you've ever seen one of these, it's like a little rubbery looking thing, you just slit it open with a paring knife and then scoop out the inside seeds and add that to the bowl. So after you add that third cup of sugar, if you get this crumbly texture, I mean beat it a little bit because it'll soften up, but if it still stays too crumbly, then add the smallest amount of silk. Silk to the rescue, just like a little titch, a titch and just a titch more. Okay, it's thick, but it's smooth. So find a nice matching pair of cookies that fit together like a little couple, and then frost them. There they are, luscious gingerbread sandwich cookies with vanilla cream. <gasps> so soft. So good, it's a good alternative to cut out gingerbread cookies. They're just so like pillowy, billowy. Well, I hope you like this recipe and you make it for the holidays and guess what? More exciting things. Okay, so my friend Candace, who is Edgy Veg on her channel right now, she is making a main dish for your holiday feast using silk. It's a holiday roast au jus. It looks delicious. She's the master of Satan. Go follow her, go watch that video right now. It's live on her channel. As well, my pal Nikki from Health Nut Nutrition has posted a blog post recipe for mushroom and leek scalloped potatoes. So we've got a full feast on our hands and the three of us are getting together this Friday, December 9th at 7 p.m. Eastern time on Candace's channel, Edgy Veg, for a YouTube live stream holiday potluck. We're bringing all of our dishes, we're gonna try each other's food, have a big old party, make some cocktails and answer your questions and we're gonna go live. So make sure you head over to Edgy Veg's channel, the link's in the description below and bookmark that page so you can join us for the live stream this Friday. It's gonna be so much fun and either way, I'm here every single Wednesday with brand new content here on Hot For Food. So subscribe, like, thumbs up, love, eat it all, feel it all, celebrate the holidays, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.